Hello everybody, it's me Mel and shooting another video for this challenge. I guess it would be video number four. I'm trying to blast them out. Um, this is very awkward for me. I in no way, shape, or form like doing this, but um, usually the one behind the camera putting makeup on people. Um, but I need to get over my ego and just get over some things, so that's why I decided to do this challenge. And um, my friend's actually going to come over in a little bit. I'm going to be doing her um, makeup for her wedding trial. She's getting married in a couple of weeks. And after that, I'm going to make sure that I clean out my makeup and hair kit and organize everything, label everything, which I'm meaning to do. And um, yeah, tomorrow I luckily have a day off, but I'm going to be busy doing all sorts of things. And um, in the morning, I'm actually going to go and drive out to Iaea to go train with uh, Ron Ogi at 10 in the morning. And I know some of you guys know Ron. He is a very humble, very sweet man. Uh, what you may not know is he is an excellent martial artist. And he's also been studying spirituality and all that. So he's actually formed a system that he incorporated um, physical and mental together. And so working out while also grounding using visualization and energy work and no, it's not woo woo kind of thing. Um, yeah, he's really awesome. He's very humble, so he'll never let you know that he's actually studied um, under one of Bruce Lee's students, DeMille. I think DeMille, yeah. And um, he, in a Wen Chun Do, which is a type of Kung Fu, and then also studied under um, Professor Wally J, who is a uh, Jiu Jitsu master who uh, Bruce Lee studied under. And so he's got this vast knowledge about that. He's also studied under some spiritual teachers such as Ram Dass and others, just to name a few. And he's just this big ball of knowledge and so humble. And he's actually helped me out a lot because not only are you incorporating this physical exercise, but if you're not grounded and centered, then I usually topple over or, you know, and I mean, I feel strong and I feel confident and I feel better when I leave um, Ron's place. And so if you're looking for something that um, will help you, guide you, if you're trying to find your inner voice or, you know, you want to get fit or, you know, you do a certain type of thing. I mean, he's not going to tell you to go compete. And if you're about ego, then that's not what it's about. But to learn humility and to become stronger and more confident, then I highly recommend you go see him. He is taking students. So message me if you're interested. Um, such an amazing man and so thankful because I remember praying and being like, oh, help me to find a mentor. And I remember the very first time that I met Ron, this was maybe, gosh, 11, 12 years ago, and I was going through some things at the time. And I remember him telling me, okay, well, what do you see? And I was like, uh, I see you. And he's like, no. I mean, look around. There's this whole vast um I mean, look beyond me, there's so much more. And so he is that type of person that's going to let you know not to just focus in on one thing, but to, to see everything and to, to actually gain perspective and find a new um, experience, even if it's the same mundane things in life. But if you can ground yourself and center yourself, then you will see that there's, I mean, so many different ways to look at things. So these are just one of the many things that I've learned and He's just amazing, so I highly recommend you go see him. Um, just thought I'd share that bit with you guys, and love and light.